Okay. Hi, everyone. Welcome uh, for this uh, fifth week. And uh, we'll begin with the training of Emma, who uh, accepted to come again. So we are very glad uh, that you are here. And uh, so thank you for coming again. And uh, let's go. Let's go. Thank you. And this time we have also the, the sound. So it's, uh, it's great. It's perfect. It's but, Emma but... 2.0. <laughs> Perfect. So hi everyone, and uh, yeah, so hopefully I'm sure now everyone can hear me this time, brilliant. Um, but just send a message on the chat if you can't at any point. Um, today's training uh, is gonna be knockdown based, um, but there's gonna be a few, uh, a few references back to some of our more basic stances and things like that within the session. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure that some of my other, uh, or some of the other instructors from my colleagues have uh, already maybe gone through a few of the things but hopefully you'll leave with maybe something new that you will enjoy okay so guys we're gonna get started up i'm just gonna so I think you can all see um my space at home isn't huge so everything's designed to do small space because that's all i've got um, means I will cut off my head. So we're going to start off everybody with arm circles forwards. Okay. okay, a little bit of a side bend. So we're reaching up overhead and across to the side, side and then alternating to the other side. And we'll just keep changing through that for a few times. Lovely. Couple more. And then let's bring the hands to a chest height and we're just gonna rotate from right to left, side to side. Lovely. Okay guys, so we're gonna start off with a few, a few lunge drills. We're gonna first exercise, it's gonna be right leg stepping back to a reverse lunge on count one. So that's itch, everyone step back, right leg. And then same leg stepping out to a lateral lunge on count knee. So knee, everyone stepping out. Same thing on the other side. Left leg stepping back on itch, reverse lunge. Right leg step, uh, left leg step on itch. So guys, we've got four counts, itch, knee, sanshi, Reverse, lateral, reverse, lateral. Okay, and itch, knee, sun, she, itch, knee, sun, she, itch, knee, sun, she, itch. Knee, sun, she, a few more times, itch, knee, sun, she, itch, knee, sun, she, two more sets, itch, knee, sun, she, one more set, itch, Knee, sun, she. Lovely, good, okay. We're bringing hands either to fighting position in front of you or you can have them on the hips. We're just gonna work on some rolling circles through the hips. In, uh, outside circle and inside, so Soto and Uchi on one count with one leg, on the other count with the second leg. Itch, knee, sun, she, nice and relaxed at this stage. Go. Rook. Sheesh. Hedge. Ku. Ju. That's okay, good guys. We're gonna be moving on to some walkouts next. So on one count, we're walking all the way out to high plank. Walk back in, stand up. And itch, 
knee. Count isn't crazy fast at the start, allowing us time to warm up, Sam. She. Four. Rook. Sheesh. Hatch. Coop. And on the next one, holding the high plank. Due. So we're staying out here in high plank. We're going to take a plank lunge next. So on one count, we're lunging up to the outside of the hand, stepping back. And then on the second count, we'll be the other side. So itch, left leg lunges up outside of left hand. Knee, bit of a stretch open up through the hips. Sun. She. Go. Rook. Sheesh. Hatch. Cute. Jute. Everyone lunging left leg back up on itch. Okay, we're working now with left hand. Left hand rotating towards the sky. We've got five. Itch, open up and down. Knee. Sun. Chi. Go. Pop the hand down. Itch, change legs. We've got five rotations. Itch. Knee. Sun. Chi. Go. Place the hand down, step the leg back, walk the hands all the way back in and stand up, shake the legs loose. So we're going to work on just a little bit of lengthening through the hip flexors next. We're going to start one count per exercise. I'll just show you it first. You're going to pick up one heel behind the bottom and then we're just going to hinge forwards. So we're going to send this knee backwards, reach forwards with the opposite hand. We'll change legs each count. So itch everybody right heel to bum and just a little lean forwards there. It's okay if you wobble. Knee, left foot, left foot this time. Sun. Just waking up that balance a little bit too. She. Go. Rook. Sheesh. Hatch. Cute. And you, last one. Nice guys, well done. Again, just turn, turning to a parallel stance. We're now just gonna work on rolling those mushies. If you did the class with me last time, two weeks ago, we did a similar, uh, same exercise. So we're just rolling from side to side. And at this stage, it's not a high kick. It's just to open up the hips a little bit. So itch, rolling out to the right, knee to the left. Sun, she, go, rook, sheesh, hatch, Ku, ju, guys, we've got 10 more, itch, a little bit higher if you want to. Knee, sun, she, go, rook, sheesh, hatch, ku, ju. Nice work, okay, yeah, may just shake loose. If you want a very quick sip of water, I'm just gonna check that there's no messages saying people can't see me. All looks good, okay, guys. So if you've had just a little sip, little shake loose, we're gonna move on to our first little section, which is gonna be uh, using our sanction dachi, okay? So there's gonna be a little bit of basic movement and then moving on, uh, translating it into a little bit of fighting and then a couple of exercises. So everybody, we're moving forward. Uh, we'll step forward into sanction dachi with the right leg. So sanction dachi, yoi, kimite, okay. So while we're going to be moving forwards in Zenkan Sadachi with two techniques. Each time we move forwards, we're doing a soto uke and a gyaku ski. And we'll move forwards again, soto uke, gyaku ski. So we should all be right leg in front at this stage. We've got a small bend on the legs. Our glutes are definitely engaged. So a little squeeze of the bum muscles there. Okay, guys. So itch, left leg moves forwards, soto, gyaku. Knee. Sam. 
do one more sheep okay now right leg steps back same thing left arm's gonna move first itch soto gyaku knee sun now we'll stick with threes itch forwards knee sun backwards itch knee sun couple more times start thinking about sitting down into your stance engaging your glutes on each one itch we've got a bit of rotation with that punch and block knee sun itch stepping back knee sun okay one more set itch knee sun itch knee sun nare okay guys so as i said we just talked a little bit about our sanction being quite low now we're going to look at how that translates maybe to a fighting stance so our, our sort of close powerful fighting techniques maybe that we're done when we're like toe to toe toughing it out in the middle of the mat quite often will be done from a short stance that's based a little bit on a sanchin dachi okay so there's quite a short the shortness and we're low into our heels our glutes are definitely engaged and we're getting a bit of rotation it's not dissimilar to what we've just done okay guys so we're all going to take our kamadachi and we're going to start building up a short uh, a short sequence just using our stance in that way so kamadachi yoi left leg in front kimite Okay, so we're going to start off just oiski. So oiski, we're in a short stance, powerful shot. Itch, left hand. Knee, san, shi, go, rook, shi, patch, ku, ju. Ten more. Itch, knee, san. She, go, rook, sheesh, patch, ku, ju. Okay, so we're going to carry on with this, but just to think, there's very minimal wasted movement, okay? We're not doing loads of flinging the arms around here. Everything's pretty compact and tight, just like it is in Sanchin. So, uh, hand tight, right leg in front, same thing, right hand oiski, nice and tight. We don't need to pull the arm right back to punch, it's just from here, but it's powerful. Itch, body movement, knee, san, shi, go, rook, shish, hatch, ku, ju. Ten more. Itch. Knee. Sun. She. Go. Rook. Sheesh. Hatch. Ku. Ju. Hand high. Left legs back in front. So guys, we're adding to that now. We're working oiski, shtaski. So same arm. It's really similar to what we've just done in basics where we needed that rotation for the block. Oi. Shta, same arm, one count. Itch, left arm, left arm. Knee, sun, she, go, rook, sheesh, hatch, ku, ju. Itch. Knee, sun, she, go. Okay, hand tight. Let's do the same thing. Right leg in front. I can just see there's a couple of messages. I'm just gonna check that. Okay, it looks like everyone can hear. Cool. So right leg in front, guys. Same two punches. Oi, shna. Itch, knee, sun, she. Don't forget our guard with the opposite hand. Go. Rook. Sheesh. Hatch. Ku. Ju. If 
five more each. Knee, sun, she, go, hunt high. Okay, one more technique to add to make this a, a three technique combination that we could do in front of someone who's standing right in front of us wanting to trade shots. Oi, sta, back leg, low kick onto their front leg. I think it's not reaching for distance, they're right here. Their foot is right in front of me. So all I want to do is come round and tap on the top of the leg. Okay? So three techniques, one count. Itch, oishta, get on washing. Knee, sun, she, go, rook, sheesh. Hantai, right leg in front, same combination. Itch, oishta, back leg low kick. Knee, all close range. San, core always engaged. She, so are my glutes. Go, rook, sheesh, hatch. Now, right? Okay, guys, so that's our first part of our combination. What we're then just going to do quickly is an exercise that's going to uh, focus a little bit on an aspect of that stance or combination that we've just done. So our stance was Sanshin. One of the things I kept mentioning was that little glute engagement. We use our hips, we use our glutes. So our exercise is going to be a hip bridge. I'm gonna lay down on the floor, so just hopefully you can all see me. If you can't, change your camera angle slightly. We've got feet fairly close to the bottom, hands on the floor. We're gonna be work, we're gonna work by squeezing our bum to lift our hips in line with our body, knees, shoulders, hips in the middle in line, and then we're gonna lower down. So guys, on each one, and then, so, so, one count is one uh, exercise, sorry. Itch, lift, and lower. Not a crazy pace. Knee, we definitely want a little bit of a burn by the end of this. Sun, we've got to use our glutes. She, go, rook, try not to hold your breath. Sheesh, hatch, coop. Itch, knee, sun, she, go, rook, sheesh, patch, keep going, last two, cue, and then guys, we're going to hold the last one, hold it, hold it, lift and hold. I better look at my time, otherwise we could be here a really, 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 really long time. Good, 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 good. Last few seconds, everyone should be feeling a little bit of a burn in their butt now. In five, four, three, two, one, and release. Oh, just shake the legs out. Make your ways back up to standing, guys. If you want a sip of water, now's a good time. We're gonna be moving on to our second stance, second part of our combination, okay? So, our next stance is going to be Zenkut Sadachi. So, obviously, longer stance. I don't have so much room, so we're going to adapt a little bit. Uh, so, everybody moving back with your right leg, we're going to move into Zenkut Sadachi with Mike and Amberai. Yoi! Kimite. And just obviously watch a little bit for what's around you. If you have a priceless vase, maybe move it out of the way. Um, we're going to be moving forwards, guys, with Mike and Ski, Gyakuski. And then on Move back with my right. Itch, block, punch. Knee, stepping back, block, punch. Itch, knee. Itch, knee. Itch. 
So we're in a long stance now. Knee. Itch. Knee. Itch. Knee. Hunt high. Change legs. Right leg in front. Moving forwards. Itch. Get on right. Yakuski. Knee. Sun. Chi. Go. Rook. Sheesh. Hatch. Q. Jin. Nare. Okay, so thinking about that stance now, what we're gonna we're gonna move on uh, to another sort of changing the distance, changing the range. Well, that's no good of our fighting uh, fighting combination. Maybe we've been really tight and close to somebody like we were with those Sanchindachis, and now actually we want to get out of the way. We want to move to the side and get out, break out to the side. Okay, so I want everyone to take a slightly short fighting position okay doesn't matter which leg's slightly in front because it's a short pretty square position okay on our count this time you're going to take almost like a zinkutsudachi position if i show you my feet almost like a zinkutsudachi position out to the side i'm going to turn onto the ball of my foot so it's a little bit like a lunge but at the same time i'm going to punch a gyakuski through the center i'm not punching it out here because that's not where my opponent is I'm gonna punch it through the center, but my weight is slightly coming forwards and to the side of them, okay? Then I'm gonna rotate my back hip so I can come round and hit their leg with a, gyaku, uh, with a low kick, get a moshi. So we're in that short stance, we're stepping out, long stance, this is like our zenkutsu, rotate, get a moshi, okay guys? So on each, we're gonna stay on the same leg. If we've got left leg slightly in front, we're always gonna to go to the left at this stage. Itch, gyakuski, low kick knee and we always come back into that slightly short stance sun she go rook sheesh hatch cute Hante, right leg is slightly in front, short stance, moving out, punches with the left this time, kick with the right. Itch. Knee. Sun. Sheep. Go. Rook. Sheesh. Hatch. Cute. Jute. Hunte. Left leg slightly in front. Guys, you can pick any height mawashi. We've got that long lunge position, long zenkutsu almost. We're going to rotate. It doesn't matter if it's chudan now, jodan now. Any height kick you choose. Left leg slightly in front, left leg is moving. Itch. Knee, sun, sheep, go, rook, sheesh, hatch, coot, jew. Okay, guys. Hunt high, right leg in front. Same thing, any height mawashi. Itch, left hand punch, right leg kick. Knee. Sun. She. Go. Rook. Sheesh. Hunch. Two. Two. 
Okay, now we're ready. So we've got a little, uh, slightly more fun bit to do with this combination. We're gonna stand with feet parallel, almost like a haikadachi with the hands up. Now I'm gonna call either left or right, okay? You're gonna go to either side and do whichever kick height you want, okay? But it's gotta be quite reactive. Remember, it's not just a side step, it's like a 45 degree. You're trying to make distance to come a little bit behind to the side of the person. So guys, remember, I'm no good at rights and lefts, so I won't be mirroring you. You've got to think about which one's right and left because I'll be going all over the place. So, left. Right. Right. Left. 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 Right. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Left. Oh, I did the wrong one. Don't watch me. Right. Left. Left. Right. And yame. Okay. Just shake loose. As before, we've got an exercise to do to kind of make this uh, like a specific exercise for this kind of combination. So we're going to be doing a forward lunge with a twist. Okay. So we'll alternate legs. One exercise per count. You're going to step forwards into the lunge. You're going to rotate over your front leg. So if I'm facing square on, the rotation is over my front leg. Because then it's like a gyaku ski, you know, this kind of movement with the gyaku rotate. So guys, let's all move our right legs forwards first. Itch, lunge and twist. Knee. Sun. Shi. Go. Rook. Sheesh, hatch, cute, jute, ten more, itch, knee, sun, sheep, go, rook, sheesh, nearly there. Hatch, coot, ju. Now, right, okay. Shake loose, guys. It's a good opportunity to get a sip more water if you want it. Just checking, looks like everyone's still okay. So, if you've had a sip of water, our next uh, our next stance is going to be our kokotsudachi. We're going to be doing this one with an uchuke and gaku ski, just like we've done the others. This one's going to be. Uh, three forwards, three back, just like Sanshin was, okay? So guys, we'll all step uh, on Kimaite, we'll all step forwards into a left leg Kotsudachi doing a uh, Chunan Uchi, okay? Yoi! Kimaite, so we're all left leg in front. And maybe I'll come from this side so you can see me a little bit better. So on count one, we're moving forwards, Uchi, okay, Gyakuski. Itch! Knee, sun, moving backwards, just like we did in Sanchin. Itch, knee, sun, itch, knee, sun, itch, knee, sun. Itch, knee, sun, itch, slipping back, knee, sun. Remember these punches, these blocks are trying to put you in a kind of strong stance position. So we'll do them with, with a bit of intention, not just because the, maybe the people can't see you or your, your sensei's not there. Everything with a little bit of intention. 
Each. Knee. Sun. Each. Knee. Sun. One more time. Each. Knee. Sun. Each. Knee. Sun. Now, right. Okay, guys. So, uh, if you know me and my style of fighting, you'll probably know I'm going to use this to set up for a migiri. Um, obviously, there are other things you can do with it, but that's a uh, that's what we're going to look at today. Is using the kokotsudachi as a, uh, a a way to bring back the leg for a front leg kick. So we've been in a long stance. Just think, actually, we've just done this. We've been we're in a long stance. Okay, one that more resembles our our zenko sudachi than our sanchin dachi. So what we'll be doing is for that front leg is going to pull back and it's a, it's a lot like our kokotsudachi. It pulls back with a light on the ball of the foot and then the front leg jabs out for a migeri. Okay, come back into the stance either. Of course, this all depends on how close my opponent is. If my opponent is too close, maybe I've got to move my back leg as well. Okay, if they're just the right distance, maybe I only need to move the front one. If they're a little bit uh, uh, closer to me, maybe I need to move the back. So I don't mind which way you want to do it. The, the, the count won't be crazy fast. So you can do some of either, moving both legs or just moving one leg. Everyone is in left leg dance and we're all gonna move back with the left leg kick, my Gary Chu down with the left. Itch, knee, sun, chi, go, Rook, sheesh, hatch, cue, ju. Ten more. Itch, knee, sun, sheep, go, rook, sheesh. Hatch, coup, juke, hunt high, right leg in front, same thing with from a long stance. Itch, knee, sun, sheep, go, remember changing distances, rook, sheesh, Hatch, coup, ju, ten more, itch, knee, sun, sheep, go, rook, sheesh, hatch, Two. Two. Okay, hunt high. So of course, this can work for kind of any fast front leg kick. So now I want you to think, you don't have to do Chudan my Maigiri. You can do Chudan Maigiri, but you can change it to a Moshi Jodan, Uchi Haisoku Jodan, Jodan Maigiri, but anything that works with that fast pullback. It's all about speed. So remember, these aren't gonna be power kicks. So it's about that fast pull back, pick up and round, okay? So any of those kicks or anything else you think might work. Uh, we're all left leg in front. Itch. Knee. Sun. Sheet. Go. Rook. Sheesh. Hatch, coup, ju, hunt high, change legs, right leg in front, itch, knee, remember the foot only just lightly touches the floor, sun, she, go, rook, she, 
Hatch. Hatch. Coop. Jew. Nare. Okay. So as with the other two guys, we've got a, uh, an exercise to do to uh, that's kind of relevant. Thinks about those uh, fast pickups of those kicks. Okay. So that fast pickup for that, we need strong hip flexors. Um, yes, we quite often have tight hip flexors, but we also need strong hip flexors. So I'm just going to set up a little timer. Guys, we've got some mountain climbers to do. We're going to be in high plank. You can be on the hands, you can be on saking. We're going to be working, driving the knees forwards. So it's like you're doing like big high knees, but from a plank position. Okay. You're doing these for 20 seconds on, 20 seconds off, and we've got three rounds of them. Okay. So guys, making your way into a high plank position. We're going in three, two, one, and off we go. Think explosive knee drives forwards. They're short rounds. These are quick kicks. Five seconds. And yame. Relax. 20 seconds rest. What a treat. Two more sets of those. Five seconds and we go. Let's set up into high plank. And hajime. Good, 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 guys. Keep going. Five seconds. Yame. Sit back. You've got one more set. Whew. It's a shame I can't hear all if all of you are deep breathing as well. I hope you are. Five seconds, guys. Last round gets set up into high plank. And hajime. Off we go. Last one. Drive those knees forwards. 10 seconds. Nearly there. Three, two, one, and yame. Whew. Okay, it's another good time for a water break. Quickly grab some. We're gonna be coming back for our last dance when I've got my breath back. Whew. Okay, last dance, guys, is gonna be kibidachi that we're gonna, well, last dance that we're gonna work on today. Kibidachi. We're gonna start this from a 45. Uh, 45 degree angle okay um so we'll all come into it with our right leg stepping back we can all come into a um get amber eye to start we'll be doing a 45 degree step forwards and a 45 degree step backwards with this stance okay just so you know where you're going right uh so kibidachi uh yonji go 45 degrees you wait can I take? Just gonna make sure I'm not gonna break my feet. Okay, guys, so on itch, we'll be stepping forwards. Jodan, okay? Gyakuski. On knee, we're gonna step backwards. Jodan, okay? Gyakuski. For the purpose of this, I want you to keep the techniques my. Okay, so we're still gonna do the techniques in front of you. Because I, I would have done the stance uh, laterally, but I don't have the space. If you do have the space, feel, feel free to change it to a my stance rather than 45 degrees. Okay, guys? So, itch, right leg steps up. Jodan, okay, gyakuski. Knee. Sun. She. Go. Rook. Sheesh. Hatch, coot, ju, hunt high, move right leg in front, so stepping forwards, left leg 
in front left hand block itch knee sun she go rook sheesh hatch cute Now, right? Okay, so what we're gonna use our kibidachi for um, is to set up for a back kick. Uh, it can be for maybe like a yokogeri as well. Um, and if you've got space, please feel free to go for an ishiro washi. I'm not sure I will in here, um, but we're gonna use it to set up for an ishiro geri, okay? So if we think that maybe we're in a, a fairly long stance, maybe we've just done that my geri. Okay, if I put the camera to my feet, you can perhaps see a little bit better. So maybe we've just done that maigiri. We're going to now use our kibidachi as like a kind of step to set up to then come for a back kick. So we've come back, maybe maigiri, so we're in a stance. Little step uh, set up, we're in like a my kibidachi, and then we'll come through ishiro geri. Okay, guys, so we'll all start left leg in front. We'll all be kicking with the right leg. Your first part is always that little step adjustment and then the back kick. That's all one count. So, itch with nice and slow to start. Get yourself set up in the position. Knee. Sun. Sheet. Go. Hantai. Let's do five and five. Don't want anyone getting dizzy and smashing their TV or me either. Itch. So adjust. Left leg back kick now. Knee. Adjust. Left leg is shirigiri. Sun. She. Go. Okay, hunt high, five on the other side again. Left leg in front, right leg kicks. Itch. Knee. Sun. She. Go. Hunt high. Itch, left leg kicks now. Knee, adjust, kick. Sun. Sheep. Go. Okay, so we're gonna carry on with that left leg in front. As I say, you can take this to an Asher Moshi if you want to. Couple of things to think about. You want to bend the legs. So when you come into this position, there needs to be a little bend. You're a little bit like a spring. So you're coiling up to spring out, okay? You also need to look where you're kicking. So uh, try not to try to avoid this looking the opposite way. And the last thing, again, like the migari, maybe you need to change distance. If they're really close, maybe I need to take the step, the, the adjustment, but also take it backwards. Okay guys, so we're gonna do uh, two more sets of five on each side. Is Gary or just think about those things. Itch, little bend in the legs. Knee, maybe I need to adjust my distance. Sun, maybe I don't. Sheet, go. Hunt time, right leg in front. Itch, knee, sun. She go hand tight left leg in front last five per side itch knee sun she go itch Knee, sun, 
cheat. Go. Yame, now Ray. Okay, guys. Just like last time, we've got another exercise to do. Lucky you. I'm gonna pop it back down on my feet. Three 20 second rounds again, but each one's slightly different. First one, we're gonna just be working fast feet because if we think this switch needs to be fast, okay? So we're gonna be on the ball of our balls of our feet, moving the legs out and in. So guys, when you get your rest, I'll let you know the next one. We've got 20 seconds, we're starting in five, three, two, one, and hajime. We've got soft knees, moving the feet in and out, balls of the feet. Well done. Five more seconds. Yame, okay. Next one we're doing. 45, 45, so we're there. Okay, hips and body turn to face, not just the legs moving, okay? Five seconds and we're going. Three, two, one, and hajime. Good work, guys, keep going. You've got 10 more seconds of these. I'm getting carpet burn on my feet. Good, 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 good. Yame, okay. Round three of three, we're adding it all together. Lateral, 45, 45. Lateral, 45, 45, okay? Last one, guys, big effort. Woo. Five seconds and we're going. Three, two, one, and hajime. Ten seconds to go. Nearly there. And yame. Oh, well done. Okay, it's that quick uh, water break time, and then it's time to test your concentration um, and mine as well. We're going to look at adding all of our combinations together. Um, so seeing how our stances could almost take us through a whole phase of a fight. So I'm gonna go through them all once. And then as we go through them, I'll be calling one count per part of the combination. Okay, so you don't have to go crazy fast. So if we're all gonna be starting on our left leg, have a little watch first. We're gonna be working our oi, shta, close, low kick. So this is our sanction part. That's gonna be count one. Count two is gonna be the long step out gyakuski, gedan washi. Again, as we go through it, you can change it to a different height kick, but let's start with the get down. Exercise, uh, sorry, count three is gonna be that pull back, my Gary, okay? And then number four is gonna be the adjustment, Ishiro Gary. Okay, guys, we'll stick left leg in front to start with. So, good luck to you and to me. Itch, oishita, get washi. Ni, gyaku, gedan. San, pull back, my giri. She, adjust, yushiro giri. Left leg comes back in front. Itch, one, two, low. That's our san shin. Ni, zenku, sadachi one. San, it's our kotsudachi one. And she, it's our kibudachi one. Okay, a little bit more flow now. Itch, one, two, gedan. Ni, Drift, low kick. Sun, pull back, my Gary. She, adjust, Ishiro Gary. Itch. Knee. Sun. She. Okay. Itch. Knee. Sun. She. Good job, guys. Itch. Knee, sun, she. Okay, let's try it all on one count, okay? All four parts. I'm not gonna rush it, 
Now you can start choosing different heights of kicks if you really want to, if you're feeling super confident. Each. Neat. Sun. Sheet. Go. Last couple guys doing really well. Last one, jute. Hunt high, good work. Whew. My brain's gonna need a rest after this, let alone my body. So we're all right leg in front. Just like the last set, I'm gonna start it with a uh, four count, one part of the combination on each count, and then we'll start linking it all together and hoping for the best. So right leg in front, guys. Itch, we're working oyster, low kick. Knee, step, gyaku, low kick. San, drag back, maigiri. She, adjust, back kick. Itch, so our san shin one. Ni Zenkutsudachi one. San Kukotsudachi one. Shi Kibidachi one. And again. Itch to low. Ni step out low. San pull back my. She adjust Shiro. Itch couple more times by numbers. Ni start to really concentrate on it. San. She. Okay, one more time by numbers, guys. Itch. Knee. Sun. She. Okay, we're working on the whole combination. Again, the more confident you start to feel, the more you can start to uh, change your change your kicks. Okay, you can start to change change any of the kicks. And off we go. Itch. We start low. Deku, low, my Gary, Shiro. Knee. Sun. She. Rook. Nearly there. Sheesh. Hatch. Coot. Jew, last one, make it a good one. Nare. Whew. Well done, guys. Amazing work. We've just got a few minutes to have a little stretch. So I'll just take you through a couple of, uh, couple of different stretches um, that might feel quite nice. Just get the heart rate down and uh, just feel really happy with yourselves for that. Good work. So we're going to all come on to 
Uh, single knee. We're gonna stretch out the hip flexors. We've done loads of kicking. So we're just gonna give those a little stretch. Single knee. We've got a little pelvic tuck where we're just engaging our back glutes. So if we're all left leg in front, just like fighting studs, natural to come left leg in front. We're all gonna just kind of squeeze our right glute a little bit. And then if, if you're not quite feeling enough on that hip flexor, you're more than welcome to take a little arm reach up overhead. Um, but you should start feeling this, especially us karate people, super tight hip flexors. So we should all start feeling this on the front of that hip. Whew. Bring down that breath. If we want to take it a little bit deeper, guys, that arm that we've got raised up overhead, we can just sweep round, pick up heel to bum on that side, but try not to let go of that right glute little squeeze that we've got. What we don't want to do is start lifting, uh, start falling into this kind of position here. Okay, relax and uh, release the leg gently. We're gonna pop our bottom back onto our left heel, flex the, sorry, right heel, flex the left foot, and we'll just have a little forward fold over that leg. You should feel the stretch through the back of your left, left leg. It's hard work when you can't get your lefts and rights right. Teaching online. Ah. Okay, guys, let's release from there. We're gonna take right leg in front. Okay, we'll start off how we did uh, last time. Little squeeze on the left glute. Get that stretch into the front of your left hip. We can take our left arm up overhead if we want to. But we should just start feeling that stretch in the front of the left hip flexor. Well done. And then let's sweep that left arm round, back and round if we want to. We don't have to take this one if the other one is enough for you. Let's gently release that, uh, that leg. We're gonna sit bottom back onto our left heel, flex the right foot, and we just fold forwards over that leg. Remember, it's not about trying to grab your right toes. There's no pot of gold there. We just want to feel the right stretch down the right part of the muscle. Okay, guys, last couple of stretches to do. We're just gonna pop our bottom onto the floor. Left leg crosses over right hands on the floor behind you and we'll just take a little glute stretch from there again keep this left ankle flexed and we're just going to stay in that just for, so that you're feeling that stretch through the uh through your left glute the closer you bring this leg the more you'll feel it enough for me okay straighten your right leg pop your left foot on the floor and we're just gonna use that left leg as a little bit of leverage to get a twist. So a little spine twist there. You can either hug the knee or you can use it just to press against lightly and twist, but try and stay sat up tall, not here. Okay, guys, releasing there. Let's do those two stretches on the other side. So right leg crosses over left this time, left leg bends up, right ankle is flexed. Just a couple of deep breaths. Let's straighten our left leg back out, pop the right foot on the floor. And again, we can use that as a little bit of leverage to twist against either hugging it or bring the elbow beyond it. Okay, I'm releasing guys. We're all done for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I think probably uh, is Thank you so much. Um, Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much.